Why the Rick and Morty season four trailer has some fans pissed. What a weekend. Unless you've been living under a rock, it was a smorgasbord of first looks, trailers, teasers, and all kinds of clips from some of our favorite shows. The Expanse, love it. Star Trek Discovery, permission to come aboard. Lost in Space, sign us up. And of course, Star Trek Picard, still crying with joy. But hidden among all of the new footage was the long-awaited first official trailer for Rick and Morty season four. Now, we had seen a snippet of the upcoming season that played at San Diego Comic-Con featuring a Taika Waititi voiced alien, but this was the first look at what we should expect from the show this year as a whole. And guess what? While it's crammed with new characters, old favorites, and the usual amount of intergalactic hijinks, there's one specific moment in the season four trailer that is seriously pissing off some fans. So let's break this down to figure out why some in the Rick and Morty community are more up in arms than fans at a McDonald's that has run out of Szechuan sauce. Wow, this sauce is f***ing amazing. The trailer starts off innocuously enough. We see Rick and Morty rolling up on a planet in their space cruiser, where they soon find themselves outside of an ancient alien temple. Obviously, we're getting some major Indiana Jones vibes here. Note the huge trap spikes in the ceiling, and later in the trailer, after they suit up in clear protective suits, darts fire from the wall and harmlessly bounce off of them. We are then introduced to this new character, Chachi, a cat alien with a dome head. Obviously, he's going to be a fan favorite who will be around for a long time. Morty, get in. Well, sh so much for Chachi. Next, we get Morty scaling a cliff face while Rick floats nearby in a hover chair eating a burger. Or is it a burrito? No, definitely a chicken sandwich. Overall, this feels very much like a reference to the scene in Star Trek V The Final Frontier when Kirk is climbing the mountain while Spock hangs back in hover boots. Does this mean we might see Rick and Morty facing off against God in this upcoming season? What does God need with a starship? Good question. In the next scene, we find Rick and Morty getting attacked, but it appears that they have been mining a geode for some sort of blue crystal based on the pickaxe and box on the ground. Also, it seems that the show will be moving out of the realm of science and into the world of fantasy, because apparently Morty is getting a dragon. And that's the end of the Morty gets a dragon experiment. We even get a reference to magic later in this spot, but we will save that breakdown for the moment. Next up, we mentioned some old favorites. We've got a horde of Mr. Meeseeks rampaging, and boy howdy, they do not seem very helpful this time around. We even spot another one later in the trailer as Morty fights him while in full Nazi regalia and accidentally shoots Gearhead in the face with a Luger. Oh, wait, wait, we mean Revolio Clockberg Jr. because Gearhead is a slur to gear persons. How did any of this happen? We have no clue. Now, we know Beth and Summer don't always have the best relationship, but here, they're straight up duking it out with some makeshift weaponry. It looks like they crashed out of the jet bridge onto the luggage cart in the background. Hopefully, they can patch things up. And speaking of fighting, we spy Morty very efficiently taking down some bully-type people behind the mall, which the police refer to as an Akira-type situation. Obviously, Rick and Morty is no stranger to weird body horror-type things, so this is confirmation that we are getting more of that. However, if you look closely, Morty has some sort of blue crystal-type thing stuck in his head. While we don't get a super clean look at it in this trailer, it could be the crystal that they were mining for earlier. Of course, that's not the only body horror we get in this teaser. How about this weird mutated head melting down after it gets sprayed with something? Now, we can't confirm it, but our guess is that this is a Jerry because his voice sounds a bit like a modulated Chris Parnell as he screams in agony. You know, just some lighthearted animated fun. What? Next, we see Morty applying a salve that he needs to leave on for 10 minutes or he'll die. But if he leaves it on for 12 minutes, Rick will need to hunt what he becomes. Which, guess what? We see Morty morph into a monster towards the end of the trailer, so apparently Morty forgot how to read a clock. Later, we see Jerry and Morty fall into a group of alien soldiers. Note Jerry's outfit. This is what he's wearing in the clip from San Diego Comic-Con with the aforementioned alien app creator voiced by Thor Ragnarok's Taika Waititi. These aliens seem to be larger, much more dangerous members of the same species. We even see a further bit from the clip that was shown at Comic-Con later in the trailer that confirms Jerry is wearing the same outfit. After that, we get a joke from the trailer that seems to be tickling fans' fancy 
Nazis when Rick tells his lab coat to rip off Doctor Strange. And while we did mention magic making an appearance in this footage, we think this is more likely a clever inside joke to Rick and Morty co-creator Dan Harmon, who did some writing work on Doctor Strange in an uncredited role. But we did mention magic, and here it is. Rick turns an alien into a football and a vase using a weapon powered by magic. Also, in the background, Summer is wearing some fantasy genre garb. This same location looks to be where Rick fights the rock monster and has one of his weapons destroyed. Is the destruction of his science why he must turn to magic to make a magic weapon? Well, uh, makes sense. And all this talk about guns. One thing that is notably absent from this trailer is Rick's portal gun. Where is it? Did it get destroyed as well? Are they not using it this season? Who knows? But definitely something to keep an eye out for. Moving on to Mr. Poopy Butthole, a phrase I never as a child thought I would have to say as part of my career. While he still walks with a cane, he appears to have mostly recovered from getting shot by Beth in total rickall. And it looks like he's teaching a college class when his students attack him, forcing him to defend himself. So this must make him Professor Mr. Poopy Butthole. Another phrase I never thought I would have to say in my career. Hey, thanks guys. You're welcome. In this next scene, when Morty whines about dying, eagle-eyed fans were quick to notice the snake alien in the spacesuit in the foreground. Its helmet has been cracked in a way that is very reminiscent of the chest bursters from the Alien franchise. Could we be seeing an homage to that? Especially since Rick and Morty did do a full-on Alien Covenant promo with facehuggers back in the day. <laughs> From the alien movie. We then get a shot of Morty's adventure card getting stamped and filled, leaving us with yet another question. What happens once Morty's adventure stamp card fills up? And finally, the moment that got people pissed. The announcement of only five new episodes starting November 10th. Why are fans pissed? Mostly because of the half the season you deserve line. Is the season only five episodes? Was there another delay? What the hell is going on? Half the season you deserve. With the show falling notoriously behind schedule at times, only getting a half season announcement was troubling to many fans. But never to fear, this is not indicative of the show going on another long hiatus. Rick and Morty most likely is just taking a break during the holiday season before the rest of the episodes debut. A common practice in television, since the holidays are a bit of a dead zone for viewership with so many people traveling. Traveling. Remember that after this batch of five episodes, there are still 65 episodes of Rick and Morty coming down the tube. And if we had to wager, the second half of the season will most likely pop around February when everyone is home and back in front of their TVs again. Plus, while at Comic-Con, the creative team confirmed that they're already working on season five. So crisis averted. Put down your pitchforks. It's gonna be okay. Overall, even getting five episodes is better than none. And based on this trailer, it looks like we can expect the same sort of shenanigans we've come to expect from our favorite grandfather-grandson duo. But what do you folks think? Are you excited for Rick and Morty season four? Are you okay with five episodes at a time? Or do you want all 10 in a row? And what overarching plot do you think they're going to build to over 70 episodes? Let's discuss. Thanks for watching. If you can't get enough of me, Amy Vorpal, you can check me out over on caffeine.tv for live from the eighth dimension every Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific. And if you like what you saw here, why not give us a like and subscribe? If you want to get notified every time we go live with a show or drop a new video, feel free to mash that little bell so you can be up to date on all the latest theories, news, and rumors in the pop culture world.